Hello everyone. Here we are going to start with the chapter square root and we will learn different methods by which we find the square root of a given number. The two methods which we are going to discuss in this video is repeated subtraction and the other one is prime factorization. Now let's start with exercise 3.3 and here in question number 1 we have to check whether the number is a perfect square or not with the help of repeated subtraction method. Let's see the first part of it. Here we have the first part 55. Now we are going to subtract the consecutive odd numbers from the 55 and check whether it is a perfect square or not. And on subtracting the consecutive odd numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11 and 13 we are getting 6 at the end. We are not getting 0. This means it is not a perfect square. Now let's see one more part. Here we take 36. Again we are going to do the same thing. Now in this case we are getting 0 at the last. This means it will be a perfect square. And if we want to find the square root of 36, we see how many times we have subtracted. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. We have subtracted 6 times. This means the root 36 will be equal to 6. And here we get the root 36 equals to 6. Now I'll go for the next question. In question number 2, we have to find the square root of the following numbers by using prime factorization method. Now here we go for the first part. It is 784. So very first of all, we are going to find the prime factors of 784. Now here we got the prime factors of 784. Now we are going to write the prime factors over here in the form of the multiples. After writing this, we will make the pair of two numbers at a time. And now we have got the pairs. Then we are going to write it as root 784 equals to the root of 2 square, 2 square and 7 square. And now this root will cancel out the squares and we will be getting 2 into 2 into 7 and that is equal to 28 as the square root of 784. Now let's see one more part 4356. Here also we, have, we will first find the prime factors of this number and here we get the prime factors of 4356. Now we are going to write this factors in the form of multiples. After this we will make a pair then we are going to write in the form of root. Then the root will cancel out the squares. And finally we get 66 as the root of 4356. Now let's go for the question number 3. Here in this question we are having a fraction and a decimal. And we have to find the square root of those numbers. Now here we are having the first part. 9 whole 67 upon 121 and we have to find the square root of this number. Very first of all we are going to write this one in a mix um, improper form and then we are going to find the prime factors of both the numerator and denominator. And here we get the prime factors of both of the numbers. Now we go for the root one. Here I have written all the factors in the form of multiple in a root. Now after making a pair we see that all of the numbers are paired and now one member from each pair will be brought uh, out of the root and here after taking the numbers out of the root we got 34 upon 11 and it can be changed to a mixed form as 3 whole 1 by 11. Now let's see one question from the decimal also. And we got the number as 1.96. Now very first of all we have to remove the decimal from here. And it can be written as 196 upon 100. Now we are going to find the factors of both the numerator and denominator. And here we get all the factors. Then after writing in the form of the root we can make the pairs. And from each of the pair, one member will be taken out of the root and it will become 2, 7 upon 2 into 5 and that is equals to 14 by 
10 and if we can place the decimal it will be 1.4 make one thing very clear if your question is in a fraction your answer will also be in fraction and if your question is in decimal you're going to give your answer in a decimal only now in question number four for each of the following number find the smallest number by which it should be multiplied so as to get a perfect square and also find the square root of the number so obtained here we go with the first part 588 very first of all we are going to find the prime factorization of this one after getting the factors we'll write in the form of products and after making a pair we see that 3 is left unpaired so the required number by which it should be multiplied is 3 and the square number obtained on multiplying by 3 we get 588 into 3 equals to 1764 and now we have to find the square root of this one so here the root of 1764 will be we have got the pair of 2 so we are written the square we have multiplied 3 over here so 3 is also got square and then 7 square now we are going to remove this root by removing the squares over here it will become 2 into 3 into 7 and that is equals to 42 now let's see one more question from here here we took the third part 2178 Again, we have to take the prime factorization of this one. And after getting the prime factors, we write in the form of multiples. And here, after making a pairs, we see the 2 is left unpaired. So, the required number by which it should be multiplied is 2. And square number obtained on multiplying is 4, 3, 5, 6. And then, we are going to find the root of this number. Here we get 2 square because 1, 2 was there and 1 we have multiplied. So 2 square, 3 square and 11 square. Then we are going to remove the squares and the root. It will be 2 into 3 into 11 and that is equals to 66. Now we will move for the second question. Next one, that is question of 5. And here in this question, for each of the following number, find a smallest natural number by which it should be divided so that this quotient is a perfect square and also find the square root of the square number so obtained. Let's go with the first part of it and here again we have to first of all find the prime factors of this and here we get all the factors of 1, 8, 7, 2. Now we are going to write in the form of the multiples and then we are going to make up pairs. On making a pair, we see 13 is left unpaired. This means this number should be divided by 13 to make it as a perfect square. And on dividing, we get 144. And then we find the square root of 144 as 2 square, 2 square and 3 square. Here we have skipped this 13 because we have divided the given number by 13. Now we are going to remove the root and we get 2 into 2 into 3 and that is equals to 12. Now let's do one more question of this type and here we go for 3380. So first of all we are going to find the prime factorization then we are going to write in the form of products and here we will make a pair and on making a pair we notice that 5 is left unpaired. So, the required number by which it should be divided is 5 and the square number obtained on dividing is 676 and now we are going to find the square root of 676 and on doing so, we get 26 as answer. Here we have removed 5 and written the 2 square and 13 square then we have removed the square with the root we got 2 into 13 and that is 26. That's all in this video, we are going to continue with the further questions of this exercise in next video. Thank you.